Welcome back to the David Pakman Show. Okay, we're back on the David Pakman Show. On today's bonus show, we'll be talking about Charlie Rangel's walkout from his own ethics trial. The terrorists have won is a headline found on DrudgeReport.com today. We'll talk about that. A kid's cupcake sale that ended up with police being called. And you won't believe this, AK-47s for truck buyers at a Florida car dealership. But first, we're going to bring on uh, what, who I think is the first 2012 Tea Party candidate, uh, known to you maybe as New York City's naked cowboy, Robert John Burke, who announced his candidacy a few days ago. Hey, Robert, thanks for calling in. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, so have you told the Tea Party yet that you're running as a Tea Party candidate? Well, you know, uh, when I did the announcement in Times Square... I mean, obviously, the first thing I had to do, well, first thing I did overall was to just recognize, uh, you know, the situation that our country is in, uh, you know, with this sky-high deficit, the ridiculously reckless spending, and, uh, you know, the demilitarization of the United States, and, you know, you could pretty much go on all day. It's like the current administration is almost like a wrecking ball to everything America is founded upon. Right. Um, so the first thing I, you know, when I, in recognizing that and in lieu of that, that basically prompted me to, one, uh, come up with a platform and to, you know, make the commitment to stand by it. And when I did that announcement in Times Square roughly three or four months ago, uh, that was my announcement basically to the world to see what kind of capability I had. Yeah. You know, obviously, you know, your average person saying I'm going to run for president wouldn't amount to a whole lot unless you had enough money to really uh, get it out there. But by being the naked cowboy and being a, an American icon, which is just basically being a quintessential American, uh, my announcement was, in fact, uh, my attempt or my uh, declaration of what I would stand for and beings that I think both the Republican and the Democratic Party are both guilty of, you know, or at least share a somewhat equally. Yeah. In a, well, in I want to get into brand. that. I, I want to get into that. But has anybody from the Tea Party reached out to you? I mean, have they are they embracing the naked cowboy presidential candidacy or what what kind of interaction has there been there? Well, there's been to my not. I mean, again, we have hundreds of emails that come in every day saying we support you and go Tea Party. I personally chose to uh, identify myself with the Tea Party because my platform is consistent with the Tea Party. And I see the Tea Party as, again, quintessential American uh, values being, right. you know, it decide, you know, being, you know, their objective. I mean, again, you can't yeah. go Republican and Democrat because either one of them is, you know, you know, they, this whole moving to the middle uh, crap is what has caused, you know, it's, it's really the, the big problem is that the government itself both Republican and Democrat, is growing. It's like 30% bigger, the government, now than before the administration. And we got cap and uh, trade with 20,000 more, uh, I don't know if they're IRS agents in that case, 15,000. Well, but hold on a second. Five. Let's back up. I, I, I do want to get into that. But what? tell us a little bit, just briefly, what's the Naked Cowboys political experience? I mean, why would you make a good president? Uh, well, most people don't know I have a... You know, like a, I have a bachelor's degree in political science. My oh, okay. father's a career politician. I grew up around politics my entire life, and right. uh, I'm someone who's read over 50 books a year since the time I got out of college. It's like George W. Bush. He was at 50 books a year as well. It's If he could be president on a book a week, certainly you could be. Yeah, you know, and I get that a lot. You know, I get a lot of this, you know, whole, do you think you're smarter than Obama? And, you know, right. it, you know it, it's not about smart. It's no, about certainly oh, Bush isn't smarter than Obama, yeah. It's That's about right. honesty, you know. It the is. less the less crafty I am, the better. Uh, you know, again, it's it, the, and you know, it's another thing I'm getting to. You know, you get these people. It's like as soon as you mention that you're, you know, against illegal immigration, it's like they personally hate me. Right. You know, it's like look, it's it, you have to take a side, and you have to take a side. I'm not. It's not about me versus any particular person. It's about America. Of course. Versus the detriment of America. Hey, know? listen. Uh, you know, I'm thinking the Tea Party candidates in the 2010 election. I mean, we had witches. We had violent anti-abortionists. We had uh, anti-masturbators. In a sense. The naked cowboy is the most reasonable candidate the Tea Party has ever put up, isn't he? Well, once again, I I I I, I see the Tea Party as at least being <laughs> an organic grassroots movement. That they 
they're just right. simply people, not, you know, special interest groups or people affiliated with them. But so you hold know, on a second. They, the fact that the, the Tea Party, uh, there was a Tea Party seminar last week in D.C. held by the Heritage Foundation, that's not grassroots, is it? Well, I, uh, I don't, I'm not even familiar with that happening. Uh, oh, you know, I'm sure there's Tea Party movements going all over. I do right. recognize the Heritage Foundation as being, you know, very conservative, you know, they embody uh, conservative principles and seem to do all the research that would favor uh, conservatives, probably also Republican as well. Right. Uh, you know, again, my, my the one thing that's going to be different about Naked Cowboy, the only way Naked Cowboy or Robert John Burke is my real name, will have a shot. And, you know, is to be the people's choice, you know, of to course. literally be the guy in Times Square. I can reach people from all 50 states as a platform. I pass out my platform that, you know, promoting the privatization of health care and education, stopping illegal immigration. So you want to privatize health care. Listen, uh, one of the issues. Yeah, people are on, on the chat room and I'm getting past a lot of notes about what we want to know about social issues. What's your position on gay marriage? Uh, I'm against the Defense of Marriage Act. I think the, uh, mar- uh, the marriage should be between a male and a, a man, a man and a woman. Uh, it's not that I have anything against gays. If it were up to me, and women would not even be able to get married. You know, I'm there against you marriage. Period. But so hold but, on, you you're, know, but you're against children. You're against the Defense of Marriage Act. Yeah, Doma. Right, but if you're against the Defense of Marriage Act, then that would mean you are for gay marriage, well, wouldn't it? Well, in the 1990s, whenever it was, Bill Clinton signed it. My point is uh, I'm against, uh, I'm for a tra- traditional marriage between a man and a woman and kids growing up in that environment. Gotcha. That's what I'm for. I got you. Defense of Marriage Act, I got All right. Yeah. Okay, I think, I think we're, we're hammering this out. Uh, okay, and who, now, are you concerned, I know you were recently on the Howard Stern Show, and the naked cowgirl girl is kind of copying your shtick in New York. Are you concerned she might run for president? No, I'm not concerned about that. Okay. I'm not concerned with her being naked cowgirl, because due process will stop her. And I also <laughs> want to say, too, you know, because, again, here's the same type of thing. You say, are you for... Uh, gay marriage and i say i'm not it's not about me i'm I, before i started this whole campaign i looked i just simply looked at the, what's going on i looked at who's who's saying what i think the american people don't want to continue this secular humanism or this secular progressivism right that's the, you know tearing apart our traditional values hey what's so your position I, about yeah me. i personally couldn't care if every guy gay person in the world got married to everybody i of don't course. care personally no i'm just taking a stance and making myself available and i'm saying that i will keep my word in the platform that i'm uh, announced or uh, articulating i'll stand by that if people don't want it they want it's not about me versus them it's about having someone with the guts to just have a platform and just stick by it regardless of what comes you know yeah just, so, you know? so let me, let me, I mean, here's the bottom line here. You figured out how to play the guitar. You figured out how to have a job where you can hang out in tidy whities every day. I mean, that alone indicates more critical thinking than Lewis, I think we saw from many Tea Party candidates, don't you think? I agree. So tell me, who will be your running mate in this campaign? I haven't got that far. Not that far. Okay. Fair enough. Maybe the naked cowgirl. Yeah. This could be the opportunity to reach out and have a cross-gender, cross-party line ticket. Again, once again, you know, they, whenever someone like myself, someone who has a degree of notoriety or fame, and right. they do, they announce a candidacy, you know, Lady Gaga announced that she was running for president. Ha ha, right. just a press stunt. Well, it, this is not just a press stunt. But a lot of times it gets reduced to that because you can only go so far. Again, sure. as an American and looking at the situation, studying Ann Rand around the clock and right. Michael Savage and, you know, listening to these people and being, you know, moved to want to do anything that I could, I thought the most that I could possibly do would be to, again, declare a platform for things that I believe in, to put it out there, and if the American people want that type of platform, they can at least count on me to do what I say I'm going to do. So you're a Michael, <laughs> Michael yeah, Savage fan. Hey, so tell me, what if you are elected president, will you, will you still be seen publicly? I mean, will it be Mr. Naked, Mr. Cowboy, Mr. President Naked? How, what, how will you go by that? I don't understand. Well, if you, if you go online and you type in Naked Cowboy for President or NakedCowboyForPresident.com, I believe it's with Naked Cowboy with a number four, mm-hmm. or you get any YouTube, whatever, you can see I, you know, I can put on a suit and tie and articulate and talk in my uh, suit and tie as well as anyone. Uh, in fact, I look better than any other candidate can look 
in a suit and tie. So I can play that role as well. Naked Cowboy is what I do as a career and as a, uh, a brand-building uh, experiment uh, that I've been capitalizing on for years. We have Naked Cowboy Oysters. They're the number one selling oyster on the East Coast. We have three albums on iTunes. We have Naked Cowboy Boots, Hats, uh, Skidmark brand underwear available at NakedCowboy.com. And I go on all day with a list of products that are sold worldwide. Excellent. Naked Cowboy. All right, Naked Cowboy Robert John Burke, the first 2012 Tea Party presidential candidate, and I would venture to say, Lewis, the most reasonable. Thank you so much for calling in today. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll take a break, Lewis, and we'll be back with more after this. Incredible. A incredible situation. Of course, davidpackman.com is the website, and we'll talk about so much more after this. Stay tuned. We're live on Ustream as well. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. The David Pakman Show is made possible by listeners like you and by Greenfield Savings Bank, building a strong community one account at a time, with neighborhood offices in Greenfield, Amherst, Conway, Shelburne Falls, South Deerfield, and Turner's Falls, and online at greenfieldsavings.com. By the Daily Hampshire Gazette and GazetteNet.com, connecting our communities with local news and information. By DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at DIFDesign.com. Find out more about underwriting The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.